How about best time you can remember having with him? Remember? Yeah. That's the, probably the key okay. word. Jeff Gordon, uh, number 24 car, I think it's the only piece of merchandise you ever yeah. bought when you know you were a kid. It sat, uh, I believe, above your, your bed. His, his, now, mind uh, you, it was a waterbed, <laughs> nothing like the 80s. <laughs> and then he, all of a sudden, you find yourself in the hauler w yeah. with him. Um, I mean, there was a little more to it than that, but w what do you remember from that conversation? I was out, you know, pounding on doors, trying to make something happen. And all of my opportunities meant leaving Chevrolet. And Jeff left Ford to go to Chevrolet and had this, you know, just amazing career. And I felt like he had the answer. So then I introduced myself, asked him for some time, and he invited me back to his hauler to uh, to chat. He was already impressed though with you I had at no that clue. time. Yeah, I had no clue he even knew who I was. So when I go to leave the transporter, Jeff stops me and says, hey, you're, you're not gonna believe this, but I know who you are. We've been talking about you internally for a while, and we're talking about starting a, starting a fourth team at Hendrick, and your name's the only name that's come up. So don't get too excited, but we might have a solution to your problem. And what are you thinking when he says that? My head exploded on the spot. I think it was you know, maybe a month, month and a half later, I had a signed contract uh, with Hendrick Motorsports. Why do you think the relationship with Jeff has lasted? We have so much in common and, and we don't see much of each other. Nowadays, we're so busy and running in different directions, but- You guys also had fun in your younger we, days We had together. a lot of fun. He was just newly divorced when I came onto the, the scene and going racing. And you know his means and ability and desire to see the world worked perfect with my single single life schedule. And, and on that journey, I met my wife. He helped introduce me to my wife. And All right, how about best time you can remember having with him? Remember? Yeah. That's the, probably the key okay. word. But there were some summer summer trips to, uh, to France and Italy that um, were just mind blowing. I mean, to stroll over there in my early 20s, Shani and I together with Jeff, uh, checking out you know various parts of the world was, was pretty wild. Although interestingly, I understand it wasn't until he retired that you felt most comfortable in your own skin. How so? He was such a mentor to me inside and out of the car. You know, the, the business side of, of going racing uh, was something I had not had a lot of exposure to. Then the competition side creeps in and now I'm racing him for wins, uh, racing him for championships. And that's always the toughest part as teammates. You might generally like someone, but on Sundays, you gotta put the helmet on and go to work. Your buddy is now, in a sense, your enemy, and he's taking food off the table from you. Because so, he probably would have won more, if not for you. There, yes, yes, and, and we had some you know, tense moments in our competing years, especially when you get to probably 07, 08, I'd won a championship or two. Um, in there, 08 or 09, we literally, was between Jeff and I, fighting for the championship. And is there a time you can remember where it was most tense between the two of you? We started leaning on each other, bumping each other, and um, I, I overreacted to a moment at Texas. And as we came down the front straightaway, I turned into him and just slammed into the side of his car. Once I saw the video of what happened, I knew how wrong I was, um, but it's hard to uh, not want to beat your teammate, and especially when you're both fighting for wins week in and week out. Uh, you know, the, the tension that comes with that is pretty intense.